Final point we spoke about is the importance of the Arabic language. The Arabic language was honored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when it was chosen by Allah Almighty to be the language of his choice for his final message to humanity. The final divine message for humanity had to be in one language. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose that language which is Arabic. And this is a proof for the power of that language and its ability to carry deep meanings that are valid for eternity. You could still get new meaning and ideas from the Holy Quran for as long as human will exist. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Holy Quran, for everything there is a specific time when it will be revealed to people. And we are continuing to discover new information from the Holy Quran even in our days. So this proves that the language itself could carry all these meanings and indications so that it will still be valid. The Arabic language is the language of Islam, the language of many of the rites and rituals in, the, uh, in Islam, like the Adhan has to be in Arabic, the Iqama has to be in Arabic, the, many of the pillars of the Salah has to be in Arabic, uh, the Shahada, the main pillar of Islam, uh, uh, how, how a person turns from another religion to Islam has to be uh, in Arabic and so on. It is the language of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So every Muslim it, it has a duty to, to, to learn the language and uh, to educate it to others and to respect the language and, and, and try to get more information from the Islamic sources based on uh, that, based on the uh, language itself. The language of, uh, uh, the Arabic language is protected by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So it's never going to die. It's never going to disappear. Languages are disappearing on and on throughout the world and they are changing and changing and evolving but the Arabic language is not it's still present it's the only language on earth till now where the speakers of that language can still understand what was written more than thousand years ago most languages in the world they could never understand what was written just 200 years ago the same language so the Arabic language is preserved by Allah Almighty through the preservation of the Holy Quran and the Islamic sources. As long as there are Muslims who are reciting the Holy Quran and who are learning the Holy Quran, the language will continue. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that the Quran is preserved for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till very close to the day of judgment. So it is our duty to learn Arabic and to educate it to others and, and try that. There is no harm in learning other languages, no harm in respecting your own language and learning it and mastering it and master as many languages as you want, but Arabic language should, should have a priority in your life, at least to try to learn the basics of it uh, or the, even the spoken language or whatever is required for you a religion. The obligation in Islam is only to learn Arabic that is required for your religion for the Salah, for the pillars of Islam, and what you say in, uh, the, the, in, in some of the ibadah, this is obligatory upon every Muslim. But the rest is optional. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to his divine truth. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us in this month of Sha'ban. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us reach Ramadan and facilitate for us the fasting and the qiyam and the recitation of the Holy Quran and all good deeds. Ameen. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi